Hello, my name is Ray Madrid, and this is my presentation on object-oriented programming. I'm going to do my topic about encapsulation, and I'm going to start off with a very basic example. Okay, now let's say that one day you go to a Subway restaurant for lunch. Uh, you wait in line, and then it's your turn. And the, the worker, he asks you, okay, what type of sandwich do you want? Then you choose your sandwich. And then he asks you, what do you want to put on it? Or what ingredients you want on it? <clears throat> you tell them exactly what you like on your sandwich. And then you actually get to see your sandwich being made right in front of you. Then you get your sandwich and you sit down. Then the next person that's after you also orders a sandwich. But this time, he orders a sandwich that's completely different than the one that you ordered. Because you gave him specific instructions on how you want it. But everybody else after you who orders a sandwich makes it completely different and to their own taste. Actually, every sandwich is different. Okay, now let's take a look at another example. This time you go to Chili's for lunch and the waitress, she comes to you and she gives you a menu. You actually get to see the pictures and, and the food plates with their, with their names. Now you like this Fiesta Line chicken, for example. Okay, she takes your order. She walks away towards the back of the restaurant and then 15 minutes later, she comes back and then she serves your food. Now, what just happened? You didn't tell the cook what ingredients you wanted on your plate or how to make it for you. In fact, you did not get to see anything made and you basically have no clue how they cooked your food. The waitress, she only took down the name of the plate and she was already programmed to take it to the back and give it to the cook. Now, the cook, since he's already made like thousands of these plates, he's already programmed on how to make a Fiesta Line chicken plate. So, every person who goes to Chili's and orders a Fiesta Line chicken gets the same plate with the exact same ingredients across all the Chili's restaurants in the United States. And this doesn't happen for Subway because it's your Subway sandwich was unique to how you wanted it. But um, this is the basic idea behind encapsulation that all the details are hidden from you. They're separated and they're programmed into working on their own independently. Basically, you don't get to see anything happen at all. They're hidden. So encapsulation uses a technique called setters and getters, which is basically the concept that supports this main idea behind hiding data or hiding the details. These get and set methods will provide control access to a set of data where other objects are not allowed to access or manipulate that data from, from that other private object, which is kind of like that example of the Chili's restaurant where the waitress has the getter and setter methods to which she has access between the customer and the cook and she gets the data from the customer into the cook and then she returns with the food plate so in my action script project i want to create a machine that's programmed to make a new dog with certain properties like the name of the dog the breed type the sex and the price that he's going to be sold for so for my encapsulation example i'm going to use the setters and getters technique now let's jump into Flash Builder and I'm going to import my, my project template. I'm going to call this one uh, Encapsulation. Okay, hit the finish button. Now we're going to open up the, the main action script file. Let's get rid of this and this too. Now I'm going to open up Flash. That way I can build my UI element and I can visually see where the dog is going to display. I'll start off by drawing a basic square on a stage and I'm going to give it a fill color, kind of like a brown. And then I'm going to add a text field. This one I'm going to call TF name. Position it right. Okay, it looks good. Holding the option button, I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to go ahead and make four copies of this TF name. Change the color to white and change this one to red. I'm going to rename them TF Breed, TF Sex, TF Price. And I also want to make sure that I give them an instance name to each one TF Sex, TF Breed, and TF Name. I also made this dog graphic that I want to place on the UI, so I'm going to import it into Flash. Let's drag it into stage. 
and I'm gonna scale it down just a little bit okay it looks good now I'm gonna turn that into a graphic I'm gonna call it dog and then I'm gonna select all the elements press F8 and convert it into a movie clip and since this is what we're gonna see on the screen I'm gonna call this one dog view base because this is the base class that's gonna allow us to view the dog on screen and this class is gonna go inside the libs folder click OK OK now let's save it and publish it and let's jump back into flash builder here I'm gonna start off by making a new value object that way I can store attributes of the dog inside variables of the value object class file so we go ahead and make a new class and we'll call this one dog vo vo stands for value object we're gonna put it inside a package called vo here we're gonna make the variables that store the attributes of the dogs so first I'm gonna make a public variable name of string type another public variable sex of string type public variable breed string and the same thing for variable price let's jump back into our main file and we want to make a function that creates a dog so create dog function private function create dog and we want to make a variable that's outside of the create dog function so that other functions can have access to it our first dog is going to be named sparky and so private variable sparky of dog value object let's go back to the create dog function underscore sparky equals a new dog vo underscore sparky dot name equals sparky underscore sparky dot sex equals male underscore sparky dot breed equals German Shepherd and underscore price equals three hundred and sixty dollars and ninety nine cents looks like I got an error on my price variable I just have to change the price variable into a number type okay now let's run this and let's see what happens notice nothing is showing up because I placed the order for the dog but I haven't actually given it to the function that's gonna create the dog and display it so that's what we're gonna do next we're gonna create a new action script class and this one's gonna be called dog view we'll place it inside a package called UI and the super class is gonna be dog view base which is inside the libs folder let's click finish and now I'm gonna create a private variable that's gonna receive all the attributes from the dog that was declared in in our main action script file so private variable underscore dog we make it a dog value object we see that our value object got imported and now I want my dog view function to access any data that's stored inside of the private variable underscore dog so I'm gonna pass it inside of my parentheses with a new variable named dog of type dog value object but since we still have no data inside of our private variable that's where the setter and getter method is used in order to transfer that data into and out of this class so we're gonna do this by going into our underscore dog private variable we're gonna right click on it we're gonna click on source and then generate getter and setter make sure that getter and setter are checked everything looks good now press OK and now we have both the get and set functions made for us now every time that information comes into the class I want my UI to be updated so I'm gonna make a function called update UI private function update UI here's where the text fields are gonna get updated so text field name dot text is gonna equal the dog's name so underscore dog dot name tf breed dot text equals underscore dog dot breed 
tfsex.txt equals underscore dog dot sex. TF price dot text equals underscore dog dot price. And now I'm going to cast the dog price into a string variable so that I can add the dollar sign in front of the number. So here's the dollar sign, and I'm going to concatenate it with the dog price using the plus sign. Let's go ahead and save this. And now I'm going to go into my set function. And in there, I'm going to call for the update UI function. So let's type update UI parentheses. Okay, so everything's looking good so far. Now we're going to go into our main class. Here I want to display my new dog that I just created. So I'm going to call for a new function, display dog. And let's go ahead and create that display dog function. So private function display dog. So in here I want to create a new dog view. But first I'm gonna create the private variable outside of the function. So private variable underscore display of of type dog view. Let's go back down into our display dog function and underscore display equals new dog view. And I want to make sure that I add Sparky into this new display. Let's position the display uh, underscore display dot y equals 10 underscore display dot x equals 35 and now I'm gonna add this to the main documents display list and let's run it let's see what happens do, 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 do. Da -da! we got sparky alright oh man but the square is too small so so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that stuff right now let's go to flash builder right quick and Capitalize the S in Sparky. Save it. And now let's jump into Flash. Let's make this box a little bigger. Okay. Now save and publish. Let's run it. And there we go. Problem fixed. We just made our first dog. But what if we want to make more dogs? Now, the getter and setter method makes it easier for us because it's already programmed in one of the functions. So all we have to do is create a new dog and give it some new attributes. This time, I'm going to create Snappy. And we're going to do the same exact thing that we did with Sparky. So we create a private variable, Snappy, of dog vo. Snappy equals a uh, new dog VO. We type in her name. She's going to be a female. And her breed is going to be a Chihuahua. Let's see. She's going to cost $299 with 75 cents. Save this. And let's add her to the display. So I'm just going to copy the Sparky display, paste it, and just change the name to underscore snappy. Change the y-axis to 200, and I think that's it. Let's save it, and let's run this. And now we got both of our dogs displayed on the screen, and this is how we can make as many dogs as we want. And that's the beauty about setters and getters, that there's a function in which creates the dogs, and we don't have to do that every time we make a dog. We just send it to that function, and it's already programmed to make the dog for you. And this pretty much sums up encapsulation.